Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali, and today I'm going to be doing a spring break haul. I am currently on spring break right now. I'm going on my first cruise ever. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what to expect, but we're going on Royal Caribbean and we're going to the Bahamas. So I'm very excited to be near beaches because I don't remember the last time I was like in a place that was super tropical. I do live in Orlando and if I drive an hour, I can get to the beach, but they are nowhere near as beautiful as the Bahamas. I honestly went a little bit insane spring break shopping. Every day there would be like a new package coming to my sorority house and my sisters would be like, Sonali, another package for you, Sonali, package is here. And I was like kind of embarrassed. I was like, mm, these people probably think I'm a shopaholic. But honestly, this only really happens once every like four to five months. And I've been working a lot, so I decided to treat myself. I actually made my first order off of Dote. I just thought it was really cool how you could literally go through every store on this one app and just put it all in the cart. They get shipped to you separately in separate packages, but I don't know. I just thought it was very efficient that way because then I wouldn't have to like search through a billion different websites separately. I also got some stuff from Fashion Nova, which is not on dough, and then some Amazon stuff. So the first thing I got from Fashion Nova is this cute little nightgown thing. It's just satin, and it has this like lace, like bralette kind of looking thing, but it's not actually a bralette, so it's just like a shift dress. Um, so this is definitely going to be super comfortable to sleep in. Next is this black jumpsuit, and I really like it because it's super flattering. It has this little waist belt that comes with it. And then the jumpsuit actually cuts off like right above my ankle. I think the bottom style is kind of like a culotte style. I think that's what it's called. But I highly recommend getting this because I feel like it's just very flattering. Next, I got this denim romper. And I know I definitely need to like iron it or do whatever to get the wrinkles out before I wear it. I've always wanted one of these and I thought it'd be really cute to just wear on spring break and just throw it on. Um, I feel like spring break, it's just so much easier to just have like a full outfit. So like whether it's rompers or jumpsuits, it's just easier like that. So then I picked up this top and I am honestly so blown away by just like the fit of it. I think the cutouts are so cute. Um, the little shoulder pads, little things, like that's so in style right now. I think instead of wearing jean shorts, I'll probably dress it up by wearing like skinny jeans and some chunky sandals. So next we have this off the shoulder sweater and I'm so pumped about this because honestly, I love when sweaters are off the shoulder. So I'll literally like pull the neck of them. Um, I just think it's super cute because this is lightweight and if there's like a windy chilly day then this would be a perfect outfit to wear. So I decided to pick up this nude sweatshirt. I'm not sure if it's actually oversized or if I just bought like an XL but I wanted like just a neutral comfy sweatshirt that I could just like chill in around the house like study in whatever. The sweatshirt's kind of stiff on the outside, but it does have like a soft lining on the inside. So hopefully like once I wear it a little bit more, it'll be just a little bit more comfy. So next I saw this top and I was obsessed because I really like this little cutout thing. Um, and just the fact that it's like tight, it kind of just makes me look like slimmer. Um, sometimes because I have like bigger boobs, tops make me look a little bit more chunky than I actually am. So it's nice that this just fits in all the right places. I just thought this was the perfect basic to have. If you don't know what to wear like on a night out, you can just pair this with some high-waisted pants and call it a night. So this is the first item that I got from Luca and Gray. This top was actually not on sale, but the two other things I got were. I just really liked the color of the tank top. Well, actually it's a bodysuit and I'm pretty sure I thought it said tank top, but it's fine. I can cut it off if I really don't like the bodysuit part, but I can definitely tell that this is really high quality and again, it's just a good basic to have. This is the second item I got from Luca and Gray and it's pretty much like a beach cover up. It's kind of that like trendy um, crochet texture and then on the sides it has this little lace detail. I guess it's not really the most flattering for my body type just because it is really boxy, but I'm thinking I'm just going to wear it as a beach cover up so I'm going to end up taking it off like pretty much the whole day. This is the last thing that I bought from Luca and Gray. It honestly looks like a painter's smock from the front, but it's cut out pretty much all through the back. So I'm just wearing like a white bandeau and I think I need to tighten these straps. I think I can like tie it like right here and tighten it because it's a little bit low. Um, but just like that black jumpsuit from earlier, this is kind of like a straight leg jumpsuit. So it's just hitting me right above the ankles. I think this would be really cute with 
some platform sandals. So now we're getting into what I got from Princess Polly. I just have two outfits and then some accessories that I'm going to show you guys at the end of this video. But this is the first outfit and this is the Gracie knit dress. I'm pretty sure this is from Sammy Robinson's line. And I'm so, 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 so impressed by the quality of this thing. It has a zipper and it's actually a really thick material. So it literally sucks you in like Spanx. This is definitely going to be my go-to black dress when it's just like a casual day. I can throw on my dad sneakers or just some black platforms, like literally anything. I feel like you do so much with this dress. It's definitely a little bit more than I would spend on an outfit, but I'm glad I did because I feel like I'm definitely going to wear this a lot. Next, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Amazon and actually some things are still on their way over. It's kind of like the style of a wrap dress and it has these really cute pom-poms and the pom-poms just like totally remind me of spring break. It's definitely a more modest dress because it hits like right over my knees and it actually covers up you know, I would say quite a bit on top, but overall I'm pretty impressed. Next from Amazon, I got these flare jeans and they're like super duper flare and I love them. I actually have them in black already, but I found myself needing a lighter pair. So I went ahead and got them. Fun fact, this brand is actually what a lot of boutiques carry. So you can definitely get them a lot cheaper on Amazon. So I wanted to show you guys some of the swimsuits I got. This is one of them and it is from Pretty Little Thing. And I am obsessed. This might be my favorite, but I haven't actually tried on all the other ones, so we'll see. Um, but I think this is just so flattering. Like, I've never had, like, this high of a leg swimsuit before. So this swimsuit is from Fashion Nova, and I know it's a lot going on, especially, like, I'm scared about getting these weird tan lines. But I think it's worth it. It's, But I think it's worth it. It's definitely unique, and I just love the color. So this is the next swimsuit. It's actually from Forever 21. I actually bought it last semester, and I haven't worn it. You can see the tags over here, but I'm definitely going to take it on spring break with me. Not sure if they have it on the site still, but I'll try to find it for you guys. So this is the last swimsuit I have for you guys. It's actually from Amazon, um, and I definitely recommend checking out Amazon for swimsuits or like literally any beachwear because they have a lot of stuff on their site. So I bought two sunglasses. They're kind of similar. I'm probably stupid for doing this, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys can tell the difference. This pair of sunglasses is from Amazon. I don't really like the green tint. I thought it was gonna be more brown. I mean, I guess it's brown in like some some angles, but I know like the hexagon shape or whatever this shape is, um, is super trendy right now. So I decided to try it out. Amazon has such good sunglasses for so cheap. And I highly recommend buying cheap sunglasses for spring break because, oh my God, one time, my first time ever buying Ray-Bans, I lost them in the ocean the first day of spring break and I couldn't cry because I was with Ryan and that's when we first started like dating so I wanted to like you know be a cool girl and I didn't want to show too much emotion at first um but you bet if that happened now I'd be bawling my eyes out because that was not a fun day so now I learned my lesson always buy cheap sunglasses for going to the beach because you never know what could happen the ocean could actually eat your sunglasses. The next pair I'm obsessed with. So these are from Princess Polly. They are really similar, like I said, but these are pretty narrow on this side. Um, and so you like wear them a little bit lower. Um, and I'm pretty sure both of these are like polarized or something. I don't know. They just like feel a lot better than like most of my sunglasses. I'm pretty sure two years ago I bought so many like key sunglasses from black friday sales and none of them were polarized or anything and i was like damn that's kind of expensive for not having polarized but i like didn't know at the time i didn't know the difference so now i know to try to get like you know better sunglasses for my eyes so i saved the best for last this next piece is from amazon and it is this cute little beach bag it's that woven basket kind of style that's super trendy right now i feel like this bag just screams spring break and i love the little tassels that it has over here it definitely gives it a little bit more character this bag is a little bit more pricey but it is under a hundred dollars i think it's around like 75 dollars it's really good quality because inside it's not just like the woven material it has like a canvas material covering that. Definitely go check this bag out for yourself and maybe add it to your wish list if you don't want to buy it right now because this is just too cute. So that wraps up my spring break haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you are interested in anything in this video, the links will be in the description box below so you can check them out for yourself. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can see all of my spring break adventures. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!